hi everyone welcome to my channel if you are new here please subscribe and if you like this kind of video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up at the end now let's go ahead and get started with my Dollar Tree DIY Valentine I will be using two of these terracotta planter from Dollar Tree this apple barrel acrylic paint in the color of white now I'm going to start painting one of the terracotta pot I painted the terracotta pot with two coats of paint to give it that full cover. I also painted at least one fourth inside of the terracotta pot. I will be using this pink felt fabric. However, you can use whatever color felt fabric you want. And I'm also going to use the circle template. I will be using the one inch circle. And this is the one inch circle template. Now I'm going to take the one inch circle template and put it on top of the felt fabric. Trace around the template so that way I can have a perfect circle on top of the felt fabric. I'm going to take the one inch circle template and I'm going to continue to make circles on top of the felt fabric until I can get as much as circles that I would need. Next, I'm going to use this scissor to cut all the circles on the felt fabric. I did make 45 circles on the felt fabric and then cut up the circles afterwards. Now to take one of the circle felt fabric, I'm going to fold them like this and then fold it again. Next I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I will put a little bit of hot glue in between the second fold of the circle felt fabric and I'm going to press it until I know that the glue is a little bit more dry and it's keeping the circle felt fabric together and this is how it looks and I'm going to continue to do this procedure to all of the 45 pieces of circle felt fabric that I made and cut up. I'm going to put hot glue like I said in between the second fold of the felt fabric. And this is how all of the felt fabrics that I had made into a circle and cut it up hot glue them um, together with the second from the uh, second fold as you can see I know it looks less than 45 here but I did make 45 pieces of circle felt fabric now I'm going to use this styrofoam ball um, it came four in a package and I think I got it from 
um, Walmart. Now I'm gonna take the hot glue and I'm gonna put some hot glue on the felt fabric and I'm going to stick the felt fabric on top of the styrofoam ball. And I'm going to continue to do this with all of the um, felt fabrics, gluing them onto the styrofoam ball. I just continue to go around and around on the styrofoam ball and kept hot gluing the uh, felt fabric around the styrofoam ball. And this is how it looks. And this is how half of the styrofoam ball covered with the felt fabric. And as you can see on the bottom half of the styrofoam ball, I poked a hole. Now I'm going to start covering the bottom half of the styrofoam ball with the rest of the felt fabric. Now this is how the styrofoam ball looks covered fully with the felt fabric. I did keep the bottom part of the styrofoam ball where I poked the hole open and I didn't cover it with the felt fabric. Now I'm going to take this dowel stick that I painted brown and I'm going to put hot glue on the dowel stick and then insert it into the hole that I had made on the styrofoam ball. And this is how the dowel stick looks inserted inside that hole that I made on the styrofoam ball. To make sure that the dowel stick doesn't come off from the hole, I added some more hot glue onto the um, dowel stick so that way it will stay in place. Now the terracotta pot is all dried up, as you can see, and this is how the inside of the terracotta pot looks, all painted. Now I'm going to insert this floral styrofoam inside the terracotta pot. I'm going to have to um, cut it down a little bit into a smaller size so I can fit it inside the terracotta pot. Now I'm going to add hot glue onto the floral styrofoam and then I'm going to insert it inside the terracotta pot. Next I'm going to take my letter opener and I'm going to poke a hole on the floral styrofoam so that way I can insert the um, dowel stick through the floral styrofoam. Of course I have to add some hot glue onto the dowel stick so that way it can stay in place onto the 
um, floral styrofoam. I'm going to add a little bit more hot glue onto the floral styrofoam so that way the dowel stick doesn't uh, move around and it will stay in place. Now I'm going to take some of these um, branch um, picks that I've collected outside of my house and I'm going to hot glue them onto the dowel stick. And this is how the small branch picks look glued onto the dowel stick. It gives the dowel stick just like a true real effect look of a branch pick. Now I'm going to take some of these Spanish moss and I'm going to hot glue them on top of the floral styrofoam. Last, I'm going to take some of these felt card stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to stick them onto the um, terracotta pot. And this is how my felt fabric topiary tree looks. Now for my second topiary tree, I've already painted the second um, terracotta pot, as you can see. And I've taken some of these um, carnation floral picks and I took those carnation flowers and hot glued them onto the styrofoam ball. Now I'm gonna take the floral styrofoam and I'm gonna cut it in half so that way the floral styrofoam can fit inside the terracotta pot. And then I'm gonna put some hot glue onto the floral styrofoam and insert it back inside the terracotta pot so that way the floral styrofoam will stay in place inside the terracotta pot. Now I'm going to take the dowel stick and I'm going to insert it into the hole that I have made inside of the styrofoam ball and I'm going to take the hot glue and add it some hot glue onto the dowel stick so that way the dowel stick can stay inside of the um, hole of the styrofoam ball. Next I'm going to take some of these small branch picks that I have and I'm going to hot glue them onto the dowel stick. So that way the dowel stick will have that effect look of a um, real uh, branch pit.
Now I'm going to take my letter opener and I'm going to poke a hole on top of the floral foam. And then I'm going to take the uh, hot glue gun and put hot glue onto the dowel stick. And then insert the dowel stick in the hole of the floral foam. Now I'm going to take some of the Spanish moss and I'm going to hot glue them on top of the floral foam. Now I'm going to take some of these foam heart stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to stick them onto the terracotta pot. And this is how my floral carnation topiary tree looks. For my third DIY, I'm going to use this unpainted wood heart from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some of this uh, scrapbook paper that I have and I'm going to use this pattern design of this scrapbook paper. I've already cut up the um, scrapbook paper pattern that I wanted to use. As you can see, I cut it into a heart. Now I'm going to take the Mod Posh and I'm going to put some Mod Posh on the unpainted wood heart. And then afterwards, I'm going to place the scrapbook paper uh, pattern on top of the unpainted wood heart. I'm just pressing down the scrapbook paper onto the unpainted wood heart so that way it's um, not having any kind of bubbles in there. Next I'm going to stick these um, vinyl word stickers that I made from my Cricut Explorer and if you want to know what kind of font I used, I used the uh, skinny fonts. So it looks like one of those Ray Dunn um, letters. As you can see, I am um, placing the vinyl stickers on top of the heart. I'm trying to be careful of slowly removing the transparent tape so that way I don't uh, rip off the scrapbook paper off of the um, unpainted wood heart. And this is how the unpainted wood heart looks. Now I'm going to take the Mod Posh and I'm going to um, put some Mod Posh on top of the um, wood heart so that way the scrapbook paper um, and the vinyl words 
um, stickers that I had put on the scrapbook paper. It won't peel off and um, it will also give the scrapbook paper to have a little bit of a matte finished look on top of it. Next, I'm putting um, the jute rope string back into the hole of the uh, wood heart so that way I can hang the sign up. For my fourth DIY, I'm going to be using some of these unpainted wood beads and then I'm going to use this Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color of Fuchsia. This Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color of Chocolate and this Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color of White. Now I'm going to take the Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color of fuchsia and the color of white and I'm going to mix them together until I get the color of a really light pink color. Now I took some of these unpainted wood beads and I took a barbecue sticks and I inserted the barbecue sticks in the holes of these wood beads so that way it would be a lot easier for me to paint the wood beads instead of trying to paint them all individually one by one. It makes it a lot easier and quicker to paint. And this is how four of the wood beads look painted in this really nice pretty light pink color. And now I'm going to insert the um, barbecue stick on top of the styrofoam that I had so that way the paint can dry up on the wood beads. Now I'm going to work on to the next unpainted um, four wood beads. In this bowl, I have a little bit of water in there, and then I'm gonna drop some of these um, apple barrel acrylic paint in the color of chocolate. And then I'm going to mix it together. Now what this will do is when I paint those four unpainted wood beads, it's gonna give me that look of a stained wood on the wood beads. And then after I painted all the uh, four wood beads, I'm gonna take a paper towel and wipe it down a little bit to kinda um, dry up or and take off some of the other um, like dark paint on the um, wood beads. So that way when the wood beads dry up, it's gonna look like a really, really 
nice light wood stain color. And this is how the wood beads look once the wood bead uh, completely dries up it's going to give me that lighter color of a wood stain now i'm going to take one of these unpainted wood heart ornaments and i'm going to use that uh, same paint that i used on four of those uh, wood beads that I painted with a really nice pretty light color pink I painted the front and back of the wood heart ornaments Now I'm going to stick this vinyl word sticker that I made from my Cricut Explore and I did use um, the skinny fonts to make the letters to look like the ray down letters. For the other um, four unpainted wood heart ornaments, I did um, used it but I didn't paint it what I did is I used uh, my scrapbook paper and I mod podge the scrapbook papers onto the um, wood ornament heart now I'm going to take the mod podge and I'm going to put some mod podge on the heart so that way the vinyl letters won't peel off If you are new here to my channel, please subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Now the Mod Posh is all dried up on the wood heart. So now I'm gonna take some of this juice string and I'm gonna insert it um, one by one into the hole of the wood beads. At the end of this video, you will see there are some um, items that are included into um, the pictures of my um, four of my DIY um, Valentines. I lost the footage of me recording on how I um, did that love word that it's one of those unpainted love words that they had at Dollar Tree um, yeah I lost the footage on that but you will see that at the end of the video on how it looks and what I did to it now I'm gonna make a hoop tie at the end of the uh, jute string As you can see at the other end of the jute string, I t um, tied the wood heart onto it. Now I'm going to add this um, very pretty lace ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to make a little bow out of it and then um, cut glue it onto the jute rope where it has the uh, hoop tie on it. Now at the end of this video you will see that I did two of these um, wood bead garland and at that 
second wood bead garland that I made I did have a wood heart at the end of it too but I didn't paint it what I did was I took my um, scrapbook paper and Mod Posh uh, the scrapbook paper onto that wood heart you'll see at the end and this is how the little wood bead garland with the wood heart at the end of it looks I hope you all enjoyed my four DIY Valentines if you like what you see leave me a comment and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here to my channel please subscribe and if you want to know when I upload a new video just click on to that notification bell until my next video I wish you all a wonderful day or evening and have a happy Valentine's Day till my next video I will see you then Bye-bye, everyone.